COP12, the 12th Conference of the Parties, is a UN-sponsored conference organized by the Convention of Migratory Species, or CMS as it's known. This short film introduces some of the players, the scene, and the message of this critical conference on the sustainability of all migratory species. Part trade show and part science conference, all for sustainability of the planet. I'm Eric Sola, I'm uh, the head of UN Environment, because I'm here because of this very important conference of the Convention of Migratory Species, which is about how can we better protect birds and whales and so many animals who are moving from one part of the world to the other. I'm Bradney Chambers, I'm the Executive Secretary of the Convention on Migratory Species. We're here for the, con the Conference of the Parties, COP12. Uh, this is a, a meeting that takes place every three years where all the members of the Convention come together in one place to decide what's the new things we're going to do to protect migratory species. Um, we're a small secretariat, um, I lead that secretariat, we're here from Bonn, Germany. The COP travels around the world. Right now we're here in the Philippines. Three years ago we were in Quito, Ecuador. And three years from now we're probably going to be in India. Say no to single-use plastics. In the world of animals, terrestrial, arboreal, and aquatic, one fact is a constant. Nearly all species migrate. The distances they travel in their migrations is quite variable, but the fact remains, animals travel. In order to protect these weary travelers, there needs to be regulation, determination, political will, and the desire to see them thrive. And to do this, the United Nations has established a governing body overseen by an organization known as CMS, the Convention of Migratory Species. This body meets every three years to discuss, debate, and establish policy that will assure the continued success of those migrations. And this year, 2017, that organization has convened their conference for the first time in Asia, and more specifically, in the Philippines, the apex of the Coral Triangle. Hi, my name is Rod Hay, and my job is the chair of the COW. Now, the COW is the committee of the whole. So what happens in these meetings is the documents under consideration and the papers and the listing proposals and so on are all um, considered by this large committee, uh, which then gives an, gives an opportunity for the parties and the observers to um, really explore in detail all the matters that they're trying to decide on. I work for Ocean Care. Um, we're an organisation based in Switzerland, a marine conservation organisation. I am the Oceans and Political Campaigner for Greenpeace Southeast Asia, Philippines. I work for the Pew Charitable Trust and my position is a officer in the International Environment Program. I'm Daniel Ocampo, I'm from uh, China, Philippines and we're here to actually call for the protection of Lenham rice or what is, what is now known as the Philippine rice. It's located on the eastern seaboard of the Philippines and it's known as a migratory path for a lot of uh, marine animals, including the endangered uh, Pacific bluefin tuna. The issue that um, hasn't really been talked about that much yet is the pollution via synthetic textiles and the rub off of microparticles, which is basically pollution by microplastics. Well, I'm here today representing Sea Shepherd at the COP12 uh, here in Manila. Um, and we're mainly focusing, obviously, as always, on aquatic species, so a lot of interest on the shark proposals um, and also the marine mammal you know, uh, interactions. My name is Christine Hoff and I'm a marine scientist. I'm currently working for WDF Australia researching and saving hawksbill turtles throughout the Asia-Pacific region. We work for the conservation of the of marine megafauna here in the Philippines and we are here at COP12 to support the listing of the whale shark and the wedgefish. 
Being a global or huge international conference, I wanted to sort of showcase the work that the Olive Ridley Project has done this year, uh, well, since being founded. Um, and I was part of a side event with Ocean Care, and we were able to sort of show a presentation about the work in the Maldives that we're doing with sea turtles that are entangled in ghost gear. I'm uh, Mark Simmons. I come from the United Kingdom, and I'm working here as part of the Humane Society International team who are here to try and encourage certain proposals for marine and other species. And we're just at the end of a very important and successful uh, conference, so I'm very pleased to be able to give some sort of readout on what's actually happened here. Well, <laughs> what a week, eh? Incredible. Um, but it was worth it, definitely worth it, for all the, the outcomes that we, we got through today. Um, this is the first time that we've met in Asia um, and it won't be the last, as you've probably heard. There is a, an offer that's now been confirmed by, uh, by the COP to host COP13 uh, in 2020 in India. But we've broken a lot of records this week, I can tell you. Um, we've broken the record for more parties attending COP ever, not just parties, but also non-parties. We had 24 non-parties here. From, uh, from all over the world, not just from the ASEAN. Uh, record number of NGOs, um, record number of press coverage. Thank you very much. I want to make a special thanks to the, to the media. I mean, if we don't have the media um, coverage, uh, you know, we don't uh, get the outreach that, um, that we need to make this convention and our work on conservation for migratory species uh, important to the, to the world. Um, we wanted this to be the biggest and the best COP in the history of the CMS, and, and it has been achieved, I can say concretely. And this is because of the, of the special and the very hard work um, and the incredible dedication from our hosts um, that have contributed to that. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, the Philippines. Thank you very much, uh, Vice Minister.